The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org slash action. A wax museum where you can be in the same room as an Olympic gold medalist or the first man to walk on the moon. That's this week's Golden Apple with Haiti Clotter as she shows us how students go back in time for a lesson in history. I don't know. I, I, I thought it would be a fun little thing to do. Carter Fish selected President Donald Trump for his school project because Carter says Trump is cool. There were a few things he learned about Trump along the way. He owns like 10 casinos or something. He, um, he ran for president in 2000 and didn't make it. <laughs> and um, he was part of a five, four or five kid family when he was younger. Amelia Earhart, Stephen Curry, and Abraham Lincoln all made a trip to Bemidji. Fifth grade students from St. Philip's Catholic Church School had a wax museum where students portrayed famous Americans. It's a culmination of a research project that the students have been doing. They studied a person, a famous American, and learned about them, wrote a research paper, and then then they made their display boards and now are portraying that person. The students brought each person to life without saying one word. A costume was required and students embodied their famous American from head to toe. Eleanor Strand was drawn to Eleanor Roosevelt because they share the same name. I knew that she was the first lady. I knew that she was, she had, I knew that she knew a lot of like leaders around the world. 20 students participated in the Wax Museum and this year's trend was presidents. Four were featured. Theodore Roosevelt is on Mount Rushmore. People should know about me is because I'm uh, one of the presidents of the United States. Students worked on the three-step project since February and the Wax Museum was open to the public and had lots of visitors. Babe Ruth and Helen Keller were popular choices and have been a constant fixture year after year. Fifth grade teacher Amy Zimmerman hopes the students learned about someone they looked up to or someone new. What it takes to go into writing a research project, research paper, the steps, um, the editing, the typing, all that stuff. But especially the accomplishments of somebody else and looking beyond what's happening right here in Bemidji. I think people should know about Betsy Ross because she was the first um, uh, person to make the American flag. For this week's Golden Apple in Bemidji, Heidi Clotter, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.